Hello, this is Ms. Pat from Samuels Public Library. This week in Science Scouts, we're going to learn a little bit about electricity, and we're going to try to make a light um, turn on using a potato. So our story this week is called The Couch Potato by Jory John. I am a potato, not a small potato like my brother, not a sweet potato like my mother, not a mashed potato like my uncle Stu. I am a couch potato. Oh yeah, it's true. My favorite place to slouch is on the couch. I spend all my free time sitting in the exact spot. Ah, why would I ever leave this comfy, cozy couch? It's got everything a potato could use. See, I have this and this and this and one of these and these and this and that and these. Oh, and this, check it out. This button activates a gadget that fetches me snacks whenever I want. Bam, impressed and I don't have to move an inch. Much easier than going to the kitchen. If the most important thing in life is to be comfortable at all times, then I think I've got it all figured out. Ah, uh, but wait, there's more. I haven't real revealed the absolute best part about my whole setup. <laughs> it's everything you see in front of me. Have a look around, take it all in. Pretty spectacular, huh? Yes, it's a sea of shimmering screens from wall to shining wall. What joy, what bliss. These screens feature my favorite shows. This screen has all my unanswered messages. These screens are where I play video games. And this screen is a live stream of my friend, my best bud for life. This is how my pals and I spend quality time together. It's much easier than trying to meet up somewhere like folks did in the old days, that's for sure. Yes, from this very couch, I can control everything in my life all the time with just a few taps and a couple of clicks. Not bad, huh? Ah, at least that's what I thought until the other day. Everything went dark. Look out, coming through. Whoops, oh, ow, whoop. I made it to the window. I pulled back the curtain. The sun seemed brighter than I remembered. There was nothing better to do. So I decided to take my dog Tater for a walk outside. It had been a while. Everything was so vivid, like a high resolution, 156 inch curved screen, but even more realistic. Something smelled fresh. After a few minutes, I realized it was the air. I heard a noise, some chirps, a ringtone perhaps. But no, I looked up to see some birds. I wandered down the street from block to block and across the neighborhood. Eventually I found a park with a hill. There was a massive tree on top. It looked like a desktop background, only it was real. I leaned against the tree. It wasn't as comfortable as my couch, not even close. But after a while, it wasn't so bad. Ah. Any worries about the power outage and what I might be missing drifted away. I wasn't thinking about my favorite shows or my unanswered messages or anything else, really. I noticed the stillness, the view, the sky, the clouds, the sunset, and those colors, my goodness. It took a while because there was no fast forward option, but eventually the sun sank below the horizon. 
By the time I got home, the power was back on. I sat on the couch. Whew. I hit the button to brush my teeth. I pulled the lever to change into my pajamas. I turned the knob to watch a bedtime story. Then I noticed my reflection in one of the screens. I wondered how much of my life had been spent in this very spot. It was then and there that I made the decision to peel myself off the couch a bit more often, maybe every day even. And so that's what I've done. I've started hanging out with my friends, my best buddies outside. We've started biking and hiking and swimming and hiding and seeking. Sometimes we have snacks and play board games. Sometimes we talk all day. We might watch the clouds. There's no big plan. We just see what happens. It makes me wonder. What if I don't always need to be totally comfortable? What if I'm happier when I have a better balance between my gadgets and the world outside? Because it turns out I'm more than just a couch potato. I'm an amusing potato. I'm a smart potato. I'm a kind potato. I'm an entertaining potato. And I'm a sit on a hill, watch the sunset potato. Yes, there's a great big world out there and I wanna be part of it in person. But don't get me wrong, at the end of a long day, after I've run and played and talked and laughed with my friends, I still think it's awfully nice to slouch on the couch. All right, so he found out what happens when the power goes out and he has to get up off the couch. So we're going to be talking about energy that potatoes can have and what they can actually do for us. Right, we're going to talk about electricity. Okay, electricity is the flow of electrons. Remember, we talked about atoms in the past. So electrons move around a circuit and they go from negative to positive. So you guys might notice on your batteries, there's a negative side, there's a positive side. The positive side has that little button thing on top, okay? So it goes from the negatives and it likes to go to the light bulb and then it will go back to the positive side. And as long as it's all connected, the electrons keep flowing from negative all the way around to positive. Okay, a simple circuit is a closed loop that the things can travel around. Right, so a simple circuit would be a closed loop, meaning it can go from negative to the light and back. Notice this one is called an open circuit because it's not connected. All right, so because it's not connected, it's gonna be an open circuit, meaning the electrons can't move around, all right? Usually it consists of a power source, a battery, a lemon, a potato, an electrical component like a light bulb, and it has to have the wire for the electrons to, to move around on. Now, potatoes contain sugar. They have water and they have acid in them. I know you guys don't think about potatoes being acidic, but they do, they have a little bit of acid in them. Certain types of metals like copper and zinc react with the potato when they get stuck inside, right? So the metals will effectively become electrodes one will be positive, one will be negative. So it turns your potato into a positive and negative battery, All right? The zinc is going to be your negative side. In our case, it's gonna be a zinc nail. Okay, we'll make your negative side and your copper penny or copper nail, depending on which one you choose, is going to be your positive side. And we're going to have the battery, the light right in the middle. Now notice this light, Notice these two little wires here. One is longer. That one's gonna to connect to your copper penny or nail. Okay, so when you have the wires connected, make sure that you have the battery back correct. Okay, if it doesn't work, because I'm only giving you guys a small potato. Okay, if it doesn't work, it says you might need more than one potato. You might need to try a different type of potato. 
you might need to cut the potato in half and, and set it up twice like this one has it. And if you do that, if you do two different potatoes, little ones, or if you wanna cut it in half, you put a penny and a nail in both and you connect the penny, instead of the penny and the nail in one potato, connect the penny to the nail on the other potato, connect the nail and the penny on, the, on that side. And then notice this nail still has wires, this penny still has wires. Right, and they're going to connect to the light bulb. So now it's taking energy from two. Okay, so you can try it that way. You can try using different types. You can use the same thing. And again, they've got it all in one. They've got a copper nail. They've got the zinc nail. They've got the um, copper one hit, hooked up to this. Now I couldn't actually put the, I won't try putting the uh, light inside the potato, but you could and you wrap the wires around it. Um, but you can try it with a sweet potato. You can try it with a baked potato. You could try it with those little red potatoes. Um, I've seen purple potatoes in the stores. So try it with different ones. Different kinds might make different amount of electricity. You can make um, one from each and see how well it works. Um, organic versus regular, something like that. You can even try it with fruits. Fruits rich in electrolytes like bananas or lemons or strawberries can also form the connection. All right, it's a little bit harder to do that and they've got clips. I don't have any clips to give you but I am giving you the copper nail and the zinc nail and I'm gonna give you the LED bulb. So what you guys will get when you come in will be a kit. You will have one potato. You will have two different types of wires, so you can try it. So this one is a little bit thinner and you'll be able to feel the difference, okay? There's a thin wire, there's a thicker wire. One's a little bit easier to bend, okay? And you'll have two. The reason you have two is remember, one has to go to your nail, one has to go to your um, I'm sorry, one has to go to your zinc nail, one has to go to your copper nail, okay? And then you can attach it to there. So you can either try two of these, two of these, try either one. You're gonna have your um, zinc nail, which is gonna be your silver one. I'm gonna give you a penny. I'm gonna give you a copper nail, okay? And you'll be able to tell because it's the same color as your penny. And then you're going to get an LED light. Now remember, one, you gotta look for the side that has the longer side. In this case, it's this one. So this one here is going to be hooked up to the penny or the copper nail. Okay, this one goes to your copper, whichever one you use. The shorter side is gonna to go to your silver nail, your zinc nail because that's going to be your negative side. Okay. So again, you guys get to figure out which one you want to use. And if the potato doesn't work, you can cut it in half and set it up two different ways. So what you will do is wrap the wire around the penny or around the copper nail. I wrapped it around the side, the long one, and I wrapped the other side around the zinc nail. Now, you might have to put a slice in the potato to push the um, penny in. If you're using the nail, you can just push the nail in, but the penny doesn't really push into the potato very well. Problem with the penny is it keeps falling out of my wires. And okay, so. Uh, it flickered, but it's not quite, all right. 
And that's one of the ways you can do it. And again, if you wanna try it with a second one, or you can cut this in half. Um, okay, if you cut your potato in half, you can put a penny and a nail in here and a penny and a nail in here, connect them and put your light in between the two. You can do that. So let me know how it works out for you. And I will see you guys next week. We will be working on machines. Have a good day. Happy Thanksgiving.